Programmatic Academy and continuing in course one, Basics of Programmatic. We are now on lesson three, Types of Programmatic Bind. Okay, so, and this is uh, an area where there's a lot of confusion still, uh, especially when it comes to private exchange, programmatic direct, uh, private deals, programmatic guaranteed. I mean, it's just a whole lot of different things going on. But essentially, there's uh, three main uh, models, I would say. The first one being real-time bidding, which I think most everyone who is familiar with digital marketing has heard about. And real-time bidding is nothing more than, you know, buying in an open in an open exchange via a bidding model okay this is where the largest amount of inventory is available next we have the private exchange and this is essentially uh, an exchange or network that restricts who is allowed to buy on it and um, the way to, to get access to it is to basically negotiate, talk to, and then what happens is, you know, through the SSP and DSP connection, the person that deals with the exchange allows your buyer ID number access to buy from that exchange. And usually there's some sort of uh, floor CPM to start bidding on there. Okay. And then, uh, the right hand side we have programmatic direct sometimes called programmatic guaranteed um, this is the one that's bought through you know uh, a deal usually on a flat CPM basis um, it is in general terms the least amount of inventory available but it's usually reserved for the most premium so here's where you get uh, first look type of um, deals here's where you get some of the you know, special formats that are available. So I hope that clears up that. Next, we'll see how each one of these works. The first one is RTB. So how does RTB work? If we look over here on the left hand side with the silhouette, okay, we have a user, okay? The user goes to a website. All right, so that's a publisher. The publisher sends out that request via the SSP they are connected to, okay? So it says, I have a user uh, on my website that has these specific, you know, profiles, okay? That SSP pushes that information out into the exchanges, okay? where it is then available for purchase, all right? Now on this side, we have the DSP. The DSP is where the buying occurs. Now the DSP bidders evaluate through technology the audience that they have just made available, okay? Does it fit the, the I guess the profile that I'm looking for for my campaign? If yes, then they bid, okay? and then they either win or don't win. When you see a report on the DSP side called win rate, this is what where it happens. The amount of the percentage of, of wins that you get out in the exchanges as far as the for the bidding. Okay. Now, when the, when the bidding happens, okay. Uh, let's say Trade Desk A is bidding $1 for this audience profile. Trade Desk 2 is bidding uh, 110 for this profile. Okay, Trade Desk C is bidding 115 for this profile. Now, who wins this bid? Obviously, 115 wins this bid because uh, it is the highest. But what happens is they wind up paying probably 111, which is a cent more than DSP2 Trade Desk B. Okay. Uh, this is called, um, I can't remember the name, something along the lines of, 
well, I'm not even going to try and butcher that, but essentially what happens is you don't pay the price you bid, you pay um, a penny more than the second, the second highest price. Uh, and this will come into play once we get into, uh, you know, if once we get more deep down into a lot of the retargeting strategies and how high you have to go in order to bid to win. Okay, so this is why you will see uh, later on that sometimes you have to bid, you know, a lot higher than the second person or the second trade desk in order to win a specific uh, profile to your campaign. This is essentially the same thing. This is just a second example of how, you know, uh, RTB works, user visits page. The exchange announces available bid to the bid manager. Bid manager is the technology in the DSP that goes out and does the bidding and the buying. Uh, bid manager evaluates the advertiser's targeting and bids if it matches. Okay, um, auction of all bids take place and then the winning exchange gets to serve the ad to that user. This all happens in about 100 milliseconds. So it's really, really, really fast. Um, one other thing, the, so essentially you get, you get, whenever you, you are, you know, online in websites and you get an, an ad served, you have just been won by, you know, some profile, uh, or some trade desk looking for a specific profile. Okay. Um, RTB, so if you recall, RTB, as we said in lesson one, is based on the same principle as search, okay, auction base. So essentially, they are auctioning this off, auctioning your profile uh, off to the highest bidder. Now, excuse me for a second while I take a sip of water. How private exchanges work. Okay, so on one side we have the trader, on the other side we have the private exchange rep, okay, and this could be um, essentially anyone from, from that side, whoever has access or the authority to give you access. On one side we have private exchange rep, okay, this is somebody that works for, you know, that exchange that you're trying to get approval from. Contact them. This can sometimes happen through, you know, a deals-based uh, approach in a marketplace, or it could just happen through, you know, personal communication, personal connections you may have. All right. On this side, you have the trader. The trader, as I said, is looking to gain access, and in this case, usually negotiates directly. Uh, so the sales rep or whoever is on that exchange allows your DSP, you know, trading ID to connect. And there you go. Now they have access to that inventory. The private exchange, as you recall, may or may not have CPM floors, meaning there might not be minimums. In my experience, there usually are some minimums, even if it's 25 cents or whatever, 50 cents for the CPMs, there's always going to be a minimum. Okay. Next, how programmatic direct works. All right. Essentially the same thing. All right. In this case, it's usually involving a particular publisher. Uh, so you reach out. As I said, through a marketplace, you reach out through a personal connection you may have through a publisher, a, rep, or a publisher rep. All right, and then you negotiate a CPM. Here, you, you usually uh, get more premium inventory, so the CPMs will probably be higher. Okay, um, and then private. And, and a lot of times, these sorts of deals will offer guaranteed delivery, meaning. Um, no matter who comes along, your campaign is insured to run in full. Uh, 
and then some private deals do not offer guaranteed inventory. Um, it's just giving you some, you know, better better quality of inventory, first look, things of that nature. But they can't uh, always guarantee that it will consume 100%. Now, lesson three quiz. Here's the quiz. If you have any questions, please leave them below and I will try and answer them as soon as I can. Good luck. Thank you.